Hey guys, what's cracking? It's Kraken Nation. I'm coming at you guys today to talk about Bolton. Bolton is the evol evolution of Yamper. Uh, it's actually a pretty popular Pokemon in, comp in competitive play a little bit, as well as a po popular Pokemon for everyone to have in Sword and Shield right now. It's pretty cool. Uh, we're going to take a look at this Pokemon, its competitive viability, what you can do to run it as an effective part of a competitively oriented team, and uh, see what we can have for sets and team options and stuff like that. So if you guys uh, want to stay up to date with everything I'm doing in Pokemon Sword and Shield, go ahead and click that subscribe button, guys. This channel has absolutely blown up recently. It's been so cool to watch. Thank you so much to everyone who supported us along the way. So, just gotta drop that thank you for you guys, and uh, let's get this video started. So, Bolton is a pure electric type with the abilities of strong jaw and competitive. Pure electric is a pretty decent typing, you only got one weakness and you got two resistances, so it's a decent typing for sure. Uh, and also you have access to some pretty good stab moves to boot. Strong jaw is gonna be your best ability, competitive is not that great of an ability. Um, it's, it's kind of like the uh, Officer Defiant, where if you have a lowered special or uh, lowered stat your special attacks that gets boosted by two now unfortunately i think that's going to be a little situation and in general you're probably going to want to run strong jaw instead that said there are definitely like competitive special sets maybe you could run if you're expecting your opponent to click defog but i think because of this thing move pool and just in general strong jaw is going to be the way to go so let's take a look at this thing's stats it's got pretty low bulk with 79 hp 60 defense and 70 special events definitely pretty underwhelming especially on that physical side Decent mixed offenses, nothing great. 90 attacks, probably going to be your best stat to use for your attacking moves, just because of your move pool and your ability. 121 speed, obviously, is going to stand out to you as a fantastic speed stat. You're going to be able to outspeed a ton of things, uh, including things like Cinderace, for example, but a lot of fast Pokemon. 121 is going to be a really nice spot to fall. You're going to outspeed all those base 120s, base 115, base 110 type Pokemon. Even, even, even like faster things, maybe, uh, if they think they can run a modest nature or an adamant nature. Bolton can try to catch them with a jolly nature. Taking a look at notable moves, now there aren't a ton of notable moves for Bolton, but there are moves that are very important for us to be aware of. I think the biggest ones are obviously going to be all these bite moves it gets. It gets access to Crunch, Fire Fang, Thunder Fang, and Psychic Fang, so it takes access to four very good bite moves to utilize Strong Jaw with. Furthermore, it's got access to some special electric moves like Discharge, Thunderbolt, it also has Thunder Wave, Volt Switch is a very useful move, we know that pivoting and how valuable pivoting can be so volt switch might be an option even if you're running a physical set uh it's got, it got it has access to nuzzle nuzzle is a cool move for sure maybe even better than thunder wave in some situations um bulk up is another good option i like bulk up as a kind of way to set this thing up so we're going to be talking about that so i think this pokemon has the chance to be competitively viable with some of these moves especially the fact that it has a decent bite move, move pool now unfortunately it does not have ice fang which is probably the if you could trade fire fang for ice fang i figure you 100 percent would because you really just wish you could attack ground types. Unfortunately, you can't hit ground types almost at all with Bolton. So lack of Ice Fang is going to be a really huge bummer for it. Taking a look at the first set I have cooked up for you guys here, we gotta take a, we're gonna take a look at this Choice Bandit set. This is a Choice Bandit, obviously, for your item. Strong Jaw is your ability to boost your bite type attacks by 50%. Um, 252 attack, 252 speed, and a jolly nature, maximizing your speed and offensive capability. We're going to run Thunder Fang, Psychic Fangs, and Fire Fangs. Now, you could... Thunder Fang and Fire Fang, I feel like, are pretty mandatory. Uh, Fire Fang is going to let you hit Grass types that think they can stomach with your electric moves. Uh, so that's going to be pretty useful. Now, between Psychic Fangs and Crunch, I think you actually do kind of have an option there. Uh, so you can kind of decide as well there. I also think Volt Switch is another thing you want to consider. A Volt Switch is really good on a Pokemon like this. If you're, you think your opponent's going to switch in maybe their physical wall, you're going to hit them with a pretty decent Volt Switch, uh, get, get a little bit of chip damage on them, and bring in a more useful attacker in that situation. So Volt Switch is going to be really good on a Pokemon like this. Um, Psychic Fangs and Crunch, that's going to be between you, between like your team synergy options. What do you kind of need? What do you need to hit? If you really need to hit like psychic types, maybe you run crunch instead. But if you really need to beat like fighting types, maybe you run psychic fang. Something like that, basically. The other set I've got here is a bulk up breaker, and this one goes for a life orb instead. And you're going to utilize bulk up and try to become a physical kind of dominating force, hopefully with good attack stat and the ability to change moves. Thunder Fang, Fire Fang, and again we're going to pick between Psychic Fangs and Crunch in that last spot. And this time we're going to run bulk up. We're going to run the same EVs as last time because those are just the most helpful EVs on a Pokemon like Bolton. But uh, we're going to see if you can get some boosts up with Bulk Up and hopefully hit really hard. Be able to switch moves is obviously key over Choice Bandit. Now, I will note that Bulk Up's physical defense boost that you're getting from it probably isn't the most helpful to Bolton. But it isn't completely useless. So you're going to be able to hopefully survive maybe at a random priority attack aimed your way thanks to the power of Bulk Up. 
Taking a look at pros and cons of Boltund in general, it's got great speed. That speed stat's going to be what carries it to competitive viability for sure. It's got decent mixed offenses with the capability of hitting with either side, and a useful ability supported by a pretty decent move pool is going to be pretty awesome for it. Now, unfortunately, there are some cons. At times, it's got underwhelming stats. Uh, 90 attack and 85 defense is just not that good to fire off your attacks off of. It has pretty poor bulk overall, especially on that physical side. It's going to be very exploitable. Uh, no Ice Fang, like I said, is a really big bummer for Bolton because it can't hit ground types. If you could run Bolt Beam coverage through Thunder Fang plus Ice Fang, both coming off that strong jaw, that would have been really good for Bolton. I'm kind of bummed and I don't know why it didn't get Ice Fang. That's a pretty big bummer for this Pokemon, which would have been probably really, really good with Ice Fang. I think Ice Fang would have single-handedly made this, made this maybe even a UU, OU level Pokemon. Without it, it's going to fall kind of into that Zeb Striker, maybe like a little bit better of a Zeb Striker type Pokemon. Uh, finally, low base power moves. Keep in mind, you are getting that strong job boost, so obviously the base power is not that low, but Thunder Fang, Fire Fang both only have 65 base power. So if those were like 80 or 90, you'd feel really good about them, but unfortunately they are not. They're a little on the lower end. Looking at some team options and threats you want to look out for when you're building with Bolt Hunt, a nice pivot partner could be really good for Bolt Hunt. Something that can utilize a Volt Turn Core or something. Uh, flying types are good partners because flying types can switch into the ground type moves and the ground types that Bolton can't beat, where flying types are also weak to electric type attacks and Bolton can switch into those electric type attacks for them. Uh, bulky waters are going to be similarly a very good typing choice for you. Bulky waters can take on ground types usually quite well, and uh, the electric type attacks aimed up aimed at Bolton, or sorry, aimed at those bulky waters, Bolton can switch into. So bulky waters will be a really good option. Furthermore, actually, kind of to act, accentuate, accentuate that point, uh, Bolton's physical bulk is going to be a little subpar, so if you can switch in a bulky water to stomach a hit, you can kind of get that fast pivot action. You got a good speed stat, you click Volt Switch, you pivot on out of there, you bring in your bulky water to stomach a hit, and maybe you can fire off a Scald and get a burn and kind of help Bolton's survivability later in the game. Now there are some big threats, like we talked about, it doesn't get anything to hit ground types very well. Physical walls in general will we'll be able to stomach hits from this thing pretty well, so something like a really bulky wall, like a Ferrothorn if you're not running Fire Fangs, could be a big problem. Finally, powerful priority moves, because your physical bulk is not that great, and your, these priority moves will take advantage of the fact that you uh, don't have the bulk, but you are fast, so they don't, and the priority moves don't care about your speed stat. Powerful priority moves, moves like Extreme Speed or Aqua Jet or Knock Punch or something could easily do a ton of damage to you. Um, so that's going to be something you have to be careful of. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. Let me know if you enjoyed and if you find it helpful at all. What do you guys think about Bolton? I definitely want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, sorry I didn't get to, around to posting a video yesterday. Just a busy day. Just a very busy day. And uh, until next time, I will see you guys later. Cracking Nation out.